Hello everybody, my name is Mr. Craven, and this is Ding Dong Dead. Yeah, it's a horror game by uh, Jordan King. He also did Ski Freak, The Summoning, Blood Wash, The Booty Creek Cheek Freak, <laughs> uh, Night at the Gates of Hell, and uh, Booty Creek Cheek Freak 2, The de Cheekening has been announced. Yeah. Uh, so this one is a first-person survival horror game where your choices matter as you navigate a night of horror and debauchery while trying to survive the curse of the Ding Dong Ditch Ripper as recently a recently escaped serial killer from the nearby state asylum. Mm -hmm. You'll have the freedom to uh, shape your destiny with multiple paths and play styles available. Yeah. Uh, let's go and jump in. Okay. Uh, can we leave? No. Letter. A letter from my parents congratulating me for getting my own apartment. Cute. Instructions. Okay. Uh, controls. WASD. Okay, left click. Uh, got it. Inventory, your house. Right now, the only things you can do here is leave, start babysitting, or waltz over to the computer and load a save game. Okay. Stats. Your stats show your abilities in... Yeah, that's a muscle, ability, agility, brains, moxie, and sexiness. Why do I have sexiness in a game about babysitting? Hmm. Uh, let's see. Doing things in the game world will increase your stats. For example, reading an algebra book will increase your brains. Nice. An ad I saw looking for babysitters. It's weird that I answered it. I've never babysat before. I can't explain it uh, by... Wait. I, can, I can't explain it, but walking by it on the street, I just felt drawn to pick it up. Weird. Okay. Uh, I think that's... Phone. Don't have to make a call right now. Okay. Um, I think we're done. Start babysitting. What was that? <clears throat> ah, welcome. Hi. Thank you for watching our sweet angel on short notice. No problem. Yes, I have a very important ceremony to attend tonight that we simply could not miss. Can't miss it. It's really important. Not lest I am overlooked for a future promotion. Yes, we simply could not have that. Money is on the counter. Please order some pizza for Rex and yourself. Rex hey. can stay up as late as he wants. Where's We're he using at? reverse psychology to make him want rules by not giving him any. Yeah, kid, it, that will totally work on kids. Totally. Plus, we're tired of being parents. Remember to lock the door behind <laughs> us. You can never be too careful these days. At least he's honest with himself. Yes, that's very true, dear. Oh, also, try not to have too many lights on at the same time. Uh, something's been going on with the fuse box. Okay, so I have to uh, turn a light off before I can turn the one on. If you Got forget it. on the power trips, just reset the fuse box and you'll be fine. You Got it. did remember to lock all the windows, dear. Uh, yeah, probably. I'm sure you'll be fine. Hmm. If it's your first time babysitting, we left a note of instructions on the counter. Now come on, Sweet Cheeks, we mustn't be late. Sweet Cheeks, ew. I would say call us if you have any trouble, but I know Rex will be an angel. Ta! -ha! Bye. Uh, I can give my fr my friends a call too, since the parents obviously don't care. Okay. Um. Floppy disk. Yeah. How's it going, everybody? A clock. I wonder whose grandfather it is, though. Here's a door. Lock door. Perfect. Light switch. Light switch. Yes, yeah, so here's a living room. Gain a brain's point. Yeah, they said you locked all the windows, right? So I was like, okay, gotta lock all the windows. Uh, these books look like they haven't been read at all. Well, except for one. Am I real? But am I? Pizza guy. I don't know the number. Okay. Hip G. <laughs> Alright, let's call it Hip G. 
ring. What's up? You talking to him, G, fool? What's up, fool? What's up, G? My spirits. Now that my best friend has called his top dog, Hit G. Cute. What you doing tonight, Matt Player? Just babysitting. Got to make that cash. That's how it is. Know this. Hit G is proud of his little homie. Aw. Are they treating you right over there? They better be, or Hit G will be driving by windows down in a minute, if you feel me. You got snacks? What's that mean? They gave you some snacks and some soda pops? Yeah, no, it's a good family. I think it's uh, out off the boulevard. Off the Homie, you're in that sweet steak. I'll be over in 15. <laughs> Click. All right. Call up Hillary. Hello? Hello. Hey, Hillary, it's me. How's hey, it going? Hey, I'm doing all right. I'm about to head out for my yoga class. A late night one, huh? Okay. Uh, betcha I could uh, help you stretch out just as well. I have a house all to myself right now. A sexiness check failed. <laughs> nice try. If that's your way to seduce a girl, you've got a lot of lonely nights ahead of you. Damn. If only I was a smooth talker. I need to find a way to be sexier to get Hillary to come over. Okay. Newspaper. Uh, it's an old newspaper. One of the side editorials about is about the Ding Dong Ditch Ripper, the young man whose name is being held from public uh, from the public due to him being underage, will be found guilty of all murders. He is the one, or he is to be sent to the state insane asylum for an indefinite amount of time. However, there is an outcry from citizens of the city uh, that this is not enough. The Ding Dong Deaths <laughs> that rattle the community was thought to be the working of a large, older male due to the brutal nature of the killings that left most victims ripped from sternum to groin ugh, and tortured while kept alive in an attic that belonged to the young man's family. Uh, these murders were from so long ago, I wasn't even old enough to remember. Uh, wonder why they have such an old newspaper lying around? Guess I can take it with me. It might be useful. Okay. Who is phone? Hello? Hello, is anyone there? <laughs> They're there, don't cry. Who the hell was that? Some prank. Pretty old TV. I turned on, but looks like the power button is stuck. So, uh, wonder if there's a remote. Okay, can't examine these. I want this is NES, yeah. I have one of these at home. My favorite game is Slap a Steve. It's because you get to slap Steve. <laughs> okay. Ugh. I know this is supposed to be like one of those like crushed velvet like brown couches, but this just reminds me of meat. Okay, nothing there. Uh, let's go turn this light off. Also, uh. I need to drag it. There we go. Yeah. Turn you off. Very fancy. These plates are probably worth more than me. So you're cheap. Uh, boop. There we go. Stereo. Uh, that's ran on batteries. I don't have any reason to use this. Okay. Can I take the batteries out? No. Happy Halloween! <laughs> Adorable. Light switch. That's weird. It's stuck. Uh, something's stuck in the keyhole. Okay. It's a letter written to Pa. It reads, I hate it here. Behind these locked doors and barred windows, no doorbells to ding or to dong. I'm coming home. Soon. I can promise you that. She's calling to me every night. I can't sleep until I return. You never believed me, and I don't expect you to now. I almost hope for your sake that you had moved on from that awful house. I've heard I have a little brother now. I can't wait to bash his brains in. So is this the house? Oh cool, I love fish. 
And is this the family? Uh, uses knickknacks. Okay. It's like that dad was. Is he? Is he paw? Can't reach it. Okay. Honey, we have to get rid of that damn cat. Not only is it killing my allergies, but I saw it eat a key. What kind of cat does that? I don't even want to think about getting it, uh, getting that key back. That's a lot of hot dogs. Tiger energy drink. I got agility. Nice. Okay. Oh my god. It's filled with trash. <laughs> Nothing. Looks like black pepper. Toaster. Smells like burnt toast. Knife. A butcher's knife can be used as a weapon or tool. Okay. Protein bar. Gain muscle. Here's a rundown of your five skills. Muscle is this for combat only. It directly influences how much damage you deal with weapons such as knives. Brains. Believe it or not, this is how smart you are. <laughs> Mostly brains determines your puzzle solving skills. Some puzzle puzzles uh, you will not even be able to attempt if you don't have enough brains. Uh, Moxie, mostly used for talking to people. Not only does Moxie unlock new slash invisible dialogue choices with NPCs, but also allow you to get uh, them to do what you want. Nobody listens to a Moxie-less fool. Agility determines how fast you move. Uh, think you move too slow? Get some agility ASAP. Uh, be more, uh, more important if you have anything you want to run away from. Hmm. Sexiness. True mystery stat. Why do I have this? It, uh, is it a secret unlocking true power? Is it completely useless? Who knows? Okay. Okay, those are all full. Let me see here. Maybe that brat will be easier to watch if I order some pizza. Ah, Papa Joel's. <laughs> They've got the best pizza in town. All right, got their number. And I got Moxie. Nice. You got some moxie, kid. Yeah, you got spunk. Okay. Just a bunch of junk. A flashlight. Oof. The way that clicked off immediately felt weird in my ear. Hot food. Something killer? Okay. Locked cage. Uh, looks like there's a gas canister inside. What a weird place to put it, but I don't judge. I mean, you kind of just did. Hell yes! Let's get swole. Strong as fuck. Got some muscle. Okay. Um... I think we're good in here. Let's go ahead and order a pizza. I still need to get some sexiness, and also need to figure out where the kid yeah, is. Yeah, this is Papa Joel's, where we make pies that blow your mind. This is Tony Pepperoni, what do you want? Ew. <laughs> He's so sexy sounding. Uh, hey, yeah, can I get a large pizza with, a? Uh... What? Let's be normal, do pepperoni. Interesting choice. You know, they say what kind of toppings you put on a pizza tells you a lot about the person. You know what I'm saying? What are you saying? Anyways, what does that mean? Anyways, we'll get this bar rolling over here. It'll be about 30 minutes, capiche? Capiche! Do you need my address? Nah, nah. You're already in our files. See you soon. Real soon. Okay. Fucking weirdo. What's happening? Oh. Achtung! Agent news to us government residents. It seems there has been a pandemonium at the state asylum tonight. Uh huh. The boards say that a riot broke out, and a handful of inmates, <clears throat> I mean patients, <laughs> have escaped. They're not 100% clear right now, but according to sheriff officials, not every single patient has been accounted for. Who oh my? Mm -hmm. You sexy beast don't need me to remind you that tonight is the 10 year anniversary of the brutal Ding Dong Ditch Vipper Murders. 
Well, your favorite handsome DJ would remind you that the Ding Dong DJ Pippa himself, who was a young boy at the time, who was found guilty of brutally plot... Brutally what? Ginning my people oh. to death over the course of a one night in a sleepy neighborhood of the boulevard is, or was, being kept at the hospital. And I'm off the boulevard. Wouldn't it be a heck of a story if he was actually one of the inmates who escaped on the night of his anniversary? Who could in him taste the spooky season, but I would hate to be <laughs> anywhere near his old stomping grounds. I shivered in fear at the vault. DJ Hans Dagenstein, out! Adorable. Hold on. Uh... Aha! Got more brains. Um, hello? Little boy? Candle. Hey! This handsome fella, I think, is from uh, Night of the Gates of Hell. This light's on. Save game. I won't do that. Picked up his thong, got sexiness. Ew. Full of hot dog recipes. How many? <laughs> okay. Got a battery. Uh, boop. Boop. Got brain points. Thank you. Fuck this window. It gives you brain points every time I do this. Uh, looks like all the books are about hot dogs. Like, there's one sticking out. Manual. It's a book about, uh, perfect running form. Got more agility. Thank you. Looks like all the books are about hot dogs. Okay. Are there any more sticking out? Okay, I think that's it. Uh, alright. What was that noise? Is someone in the house? I'll go look in a second. Drawers. You gain sexiness points. Why am I getting all these sexy points? Back scratcher? Used for scratching backs and maybe extending one's wingspan. I can reach the cat food now. Laundry day. Okay. Ah! <laughs> Idiot. What a dumbass. There we go. Already locked. Hairpin. Journal. Okay. Uh, July 13th, 1984. I'm still left breathless with the recent events that have happened in my life. Just a year ago, I would have seen myself living the rest of my life single and unmarried. The only thing left to care for being my lovely cat, Mr. Jinkies. But ever since I met Kenneth... Okay, so this is the wife. My world has changed for the better. Everything has been so perfect ever since. He is my best friend, and we have built a life that I believe most people would take decades to build. He truly is my knight in shining armor. I was a bit apprehensive about Rex. I never intended to be a mother, nor did I ever picture myself having children. But he has grown enough to wear... After a while, we seem to have accepted each other and have become friendly. So the mom and the kid were kind of like at odds. Hmm. Why, I dare say I find myself looking forward to watching him grow into a young man. We are, we're, we really are a happy family now. I couldn't picture it being any more perfect. Uh, July 28th. Ever since being married and moving into this house, the house Kenneth and Rex have lived in for a decade, even after the accident. Ever since then, I feel as though Kenneth has begun to change a bit. Or maybe not change, but perhaps getting to know him better. To be fair, we haven't known each other for each other very long in the grand scheme of things. He is still the sweet, caring man that I married, but now I see a darkness in his eyes. Not a hateful, evil darkness, I feel, but more of a sad, broken-hearted darkness. A darkness created by the shadows of a black cloud hanging over him. I am not surprised when I think about it. I could not imagine having to go through what both he and Rex 
had to just a few years ago. He truly is a strong man to keep pushing on for his partner and child. I hope to help banish that dark cloud through our time together as he banished mine. August 29th. I'm starting to become terrified. I have... And the rest of the pages are torn out. Hmm. Empty. Gun case. There's a few guns inside. It's locked up, though. Okay. I'll come back to that once I get some numbers. Another floppy disk. Looks like a small door is hidden behind the boxes. Let's move the boxes. Looks like a crawl space. Bleach. So I can figure out how to get in there. Ski Freak. And there's a poster for Black Eyed Priest. Cute. This must be the kids' room. Got a remote. Uh, Rick, me, and then there's somebody in the attic. And, like, that's where all the bad stuff happened. And all the bad stuff's coming out of him, going up there. Huh. Filled with used tissues. Gross. Come on, man. Cassette tape. Fuck you. <laughs> I got you good. You screamed like a girl, you bitch. Oh boy. I take it you're Rex. I'm your babysitter. I ain't no baby. Well, I'm sitting ya. Right, do you want any pizza? No, I bet you'll get your bitch germs on it. All right, if that's how you're act, just stay in your room. Oh yeah? And what if I don't? I probably backhand the shit out of you. I respect that. You're pretty cool. Oh. Respect it. And I got Moxie. Hobbies? I like hiding in wardrobes. It's pretty clever. Mm -hmm. No one ever thinks to check in them if they're looking for you. I also like to make traps. Like in that one movie where the girl puts gunpowder in a light bulb and puts it in a lamp. And then when the guy turns it on, it blows up. That's Nightmare on Elm Street. I feel like that stuff only works in the movies. It works. Ugly tramp. Oh, wow. See ya. Wanna be a oh. Oh, my God. Uh, someone's at the door. Okay. Uh, nope. Stop doing that. Okay, uh, let's call Hillary. I got some sexiness. Maybe she'll come over. Hello? Hey, Hillary, it's me. How's it going? Hey, I'm doing all right. I'm about to head out for my yoga class. Uh, bet you could help stretch you, uh... You're kind of corny, you know that? But yeah, we can hang out. I'll be right over. Okay. Wonder who that could be. <laughs> Hi! So, you going to invite me in? Yeah, of course. Come on in. You got here fast. I was in the neighborhood. Okay. So, this is what I missed yoga for? Yep, here we are. Ask for sex. Want to hear a joke? Okay, what is it? Uh, why'd the golfer bring two pairs of pants? Um, I'm not sure. Because he thought he'd miss? 
Just in case I got a hole in one. Ah! That's pretty clever. You're splitting my sides. Got more moxie. Okay. Um. So. Ask about her. Moxie check succeeded. So what's your story? We've known each other for a few weeks now, and I'd like to get to know more about you. Like, the real you. Can we go slow with all of this? Please? Damn. There's a lot about me that you don't know, and I... really just want to be sure you're going to be around. Like, long term. I know I can be a prick. What? But some things are just... Uh, I don't know. It's hard for me to open up emotionally, I guess. I'm working on it, though. They're there. Thanks. That really does mean a lot. Here, take this. Just so you know that I'm serious and not trying to... This has been in my family for a while now. It's supposed to give you protection when you're at your weakest. Pen it with a strong aura. Uh, you know it will help when needed. Okay. So, this is what I... Damn. You seem tense. Why don't you follow me and I can help you relax? Fail. You're too ugly to be talking like that. What a turn off. Yo! I'm going to do my set. Baby, come back. No. <sighs> hey, you cool cats. He's a favorite update from your cool daddy, DJ Hans Danson style. What it, what it, what it? You freaks are gonna have to stay inside tonight. Seems like our Viva nerds say a storm is set to roll in soon. Oh. Should be an ugly one, they say. So don't be surprised if you experience power outages. Get those candles and flashlights ready, folks. Ooh. Already did. Button down your hatches, keep your clothes dry, and your crutches wet as we strap in for a cozy evening. Why? Baby, come back. Who are... Oh, you're Hip What's G. Up? What the hell are you doing? Just walking in here. Uh, why were you in the garage? I couldn't find a bathroom. Did you piss in the garage? Uh, how'd you even get inside? The front door was open, man. Thought you'd be happy to see me. Looks like there's nothing to do around this place. I guess. Hey, homie, what's troubling your mind? Lay it on, Dr. Hip G. Uh, I don't know. I just have a bad feeling about tonight. My mind feels fuzzy. See, even more reason for me to stay. I'll be your mental clarity. Thanks, bro. If anyone try to mess with you tonight, I'll bust out my nine in. Uh-oh. What? I guess I left my chrome in my other pants. It happens from time to time. More times than not, though. Great. You're a real well, hero. Well, man, I'll still be here for you. At least I can offer a good conversation. Just ask Hip G anything and I might have something useful to say. <laughs> Okay. Uh, how are you? I'm doing all right. Been busy lately. Doing what? Trying to get my new business off the ground. Oh, yeah? What is it? I'll let you know when I know. <laughs> you could be my first customer. 50% off your first purchase. You... But that's after a 20% <laughs> markup, unfortunately. <laughs> you know how the economy is with all the recessions, mm -hmm. processions, and concessions. Word. Yeah, sure. Uh, what do you want to do? How about you turn some tunes on? It's quiet as a tomb in this mug. Sure. Uh, relationship advice? I'm trying to bang this lady. You're a ladies' man. Got any advice? I want to start sweeping Hillary off her feet. You want to sweep a fine lady off her feet, huh? Yeah. Listen closely as I take you to class. And most importantly, remember to treat the ladies with respect and dignity. Hmm. Chicks love that for some reason. <laughs> huh. Weird. Who would have thought? If you're beyond reproach, the bullshit can't approach, dig? Dig. Hey, that's what my Uncle Stan says. And you ain't going to question Stan the man, are you? No, never. Thanks. Maybe I'll try that with Hillary. Oh, look at you. A certified heartthrob. Got more sexiness. Let's... I guess we can go try it. Got any bullets? Moxie check fails. Any more Moxie? Nice. There you are. Hi. So, this... You seem pretty tense. Yeah. Fuck. You're too ugly. Stop calling me ugly, though. That shit's rude. 
Set. Is our view G? Moxie increased. Um. Any bullets? I guess I can spare a few rounds for my. Sick. So I gotta go get that gun from upstairs somehow. <laughs> Something is stuck in the keyhole. So let's use that. Nothing underneath the key. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. This is a classic puzzle. Yeah, you push it through. It falls in the newspaper. And you pull it back out. Door's on lockdown. Is there no light? Oh, there it is. Laxatives can be used to unclog holes. What? Cloth. Poop. There's poop splatter all over the mirror. It looks like it's covering something, but I'm not touching it. Uh... I got brain points. Sick. There you go. Ew. 296. Okay. So that must be the numbers for the thing upstairs. Poop. Oh, what? Leave a like for poop. I got agility. Is it because I'm lighter? Why did it make me look? Oh, let's turn that off. Um, two, nine, six. There we go. I got a gun. It's a dangerous thing, but it's pretty fun to hold. So boop, boop. Okay. Um. Let's go turn on the TV. TV's pretty old. Uh, okay. So boop, boop. Uh, public access or late night? Uh, let's go late night. <laughs> Uh, you got more sexiness. Okay, bye. Hello. Okay, so I've done those. Oh, fuck. Oh, that's the pizza man. Yes, I'm starved. Uh, okay. I guess I'll need to pay. Probably put this on the table so Rex can help himself. You wouldn't mind a slice, okay? And lock. And plop. Mmm. I got muscle. Sick. Uh. Back scratcher. Cat food. Literally jump scare. Cute. I said, oh, he ate a key. All right, let's get the key back. Okay, put the laxative in the food. Sorry, kitty. <laughs> What's that popping sound? Sacrifices were made. A small key. Okay, um, first things first. Hi, so Hillary. This We're gonna get it! Gain more muscle, gain moxie, gain agility. That's amazing. Hey, that wasn't half bad. Was it whole bad? Was it all, was it totally terrible? Careful now, or you just might have this girl head over heels.
I can't believe I just got some. I am fast as shit now. Great, the power's out. Check the fuse box. Bonk. Succeeded. All right. So I have knife, flashlight, passive item, loaded gun, and small key. Oh, wait. Okay. So I got a gas canister. Um, how are you? I'm doing all right. Okay, so my... same shit. You know so nothing's that. changed. Uh, with the Moxie. Let's go ahead and save. There we go. I thought I saw something. What? I like hiding in wardrobes. No one ever thinks to I also like to make traps. Mm, you made a trap for it me. Work. Go hide. Oh, dickhead. Okay, so I have a flashlight. I guess I can turn that on. Uh. Did it, wait, did I lock his window? There we go. Seven brains, damn. I'm smart. Let me go, come on. Someone's at the door. Hello. Hi. My name is Dr. Pleasant. I'm sure you have heard about the incident at the State Asylum tonight. Uh -huh. I have come to warn you and the residents of this neighborhood that the individual known as the Ding Dong Ditch Ripper <laughs> has indeed escaped captivity and could very well be heading this way now if he isn't already here. Why here? Please, do not answer the door tonight, no matter what. You got lucky this time. He is absolute evil. Can he be cured? No, not absolutely. Will he kill again? Absolutely? Absolutely. <laughs> no, I mean, what's his name? Who was he before he killed and was admitted? Oh, uh, that would violate HIPAA. That is one beast I do not wish to trifle with. Don't want to give up his personal records. Yeah. Who are you? I am Dr. Pleasant. I work at the State Asylum and was the DDDR's primary shrink. I have worked on him for a decade, ever since he was admitted as a child. After a couple of years with no progress, I realized something about him. He is not human. What is he then? Evil. Absolute, pure, unfiltered, premium cut evil. <laughs> If evil was a man, it would be him. If evil was a sock, he'd be on your feet. What? <laughs> if evil was a piece of toilet paper, you damn sure he's be between your cheeks and smelling like stank. What is with this game and poop? If evil was your father, he'd be your daddy. What? Okay, I get it. Who am I? No, oh, who are any of us? Okay. I will be well, him him. the only true cure for absolute evil. A dose of 44 caliber right between the peepers. The peepers. All right, please leave. As you wish. Bye. Then I bid you farewell. And may the Lord watch over you this night. Bye. Okay. Uh... Let's lock. All right, let's go save again, or save the game again. What is this? Why can't I pick this up? Oh. Oh, what if I was full? 
of safe stuff. Okay. What the hell? Did Rex do this? Void. So I wonder if I need to tell everybody to go hide. Succeed it. What? <laughs> Great spot, bro. So this Go hide. Okay. Cool. Um, let's go talk to Rex. I think he's already hiding though, but You can come out now. Hmm. Same options. Hey, sis. Say, what was that ointment you recommended me last week? My sphincter scared oh than a hose knees. It's like I'm squeezing out lava over here. Call me back when you can. Oh my god. Oh, and tell you no good husband he'll never get that promotion unless he starts whoring himself out. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, I can't get off. There we go. Uh, I'm kind of just like waiting now. I don't know what else to do. Like I'm just waiting for the killer just to show up, I guess. I can't figure out how... I can't figure out how to open up that space. The crawling thing. Hmm. Oh my god. I'd find Rex and get out of here. But I have a gun. Shines and then disappears. I did it. You got you fucked up, dickhead. You fucked up. You fucked up. Nope. It's a note. Looks like it's from Rex. Dear dumb butt. I know he's coming for me, so I locked myself away somewhere. Please don't look for me. Uh, and get out of here. No one can stop him, and he wants me. Don't look behind the pictures for the key. What? Uh, buddy, I've already, I've already killed him. Come out. Look behind. Okay. Uh, nothing. Look behind. Nothing. Okay. Nothing. Okay. Nothing. Buddy, come out. Nothing. 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 Oh my god. Uh, ooh. So let's go get Rex, then leave. There you are. Hi! We gotta get out of here. You're coming with me. Get on my back. So what do I use this gasoline for? Hold on. Evil dies tonight? Uh... No, oh, damn it. I don't think that works. Alright, let's get out of here. the shit out of me. Oh, hey. I can't believe we made it. 
You're a real hero, you know that. Hey, if you need anything, your best friend Hip G is here for you. Glad you're safe, little homie. I need to call my mama. She'll never believe what happened. Cute. Hey, that was really cool how you had our backs back there. It wasn't for you, trust me. Give me a call after all this dies down. I have a feeling neither of us will want to be alone. Okay. You are an incredible individual to have survived such evil. If you need any assistance processing what you went through tonight, please contact me. No, you're terrible. As for myself, I'm not sure how to feel now that Vic is no more. Vic. He has been my life's obsession for so long now. I didn't want to do what I had to do. But I could not allow any more innocent blood to be spilled. Any more innocent blood. Uh, not yet. Where's Vic? Or not Vic. Where's Rex? <laughs> this little shit. I always knew he was my brother, you know. Mom and Dad would never say anything, but I just felt it. I'm just glad you were here. Thank you. Uh-huh. He's busy. He's busy. All right. I think I'm good. Let's go ahead and get out. So that's you this is ending something. Individual to, if you need any as for, I'm not sure how to, he's been my but I could not Come on. Come on. Yeah, let's leave. Another night of restless sleep. What? I guess I should take those pills Dr. Pleasant gave me. Uh he said they should help. Uh Computer Books. Uh, oh, here they are. Bottoms up. Nom, 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 nom. All better now, right? Wonder who that could be. Better look through the peephole first. Yeah, with your seven brains. And your four agility. Peek. Whoa. Weird. Maybe someone had the wrong address. What was that? I couldn't open this before. Oh no. Answer me? Who put this here? Again? <laughs> I died? Wait, after an intense hallucination, you are admitted to the state asylum where you will now obse uh, be observed over the watchful uh, eye and guidance of Dr. Pleasant. So did, is he, is he doing this to me? You are told your stay will only be temporary, uh, temporary until the nightmares and hallucinations cease. Dr. Pleasant believes you can be completely cured and can come to terms with the horrifying events that transpired that night. You feel strange though, as if icy fingers are clawing away at your brain during the night, or during the long nights. Something is trying to reach you. Something is wanting you. Ending three of three! To be continued? Alright, well. Now he's gotta go get the other endings, which I have an idea of how to get them. It's like... Everybody dies ending, and then... Uh... I kill everybody ending? Yeah. Let's give it a shot. Uh, I'll cut to the next thing. Rex, did you draw on the walls? Wouldn't want to be. Fuck. That's brutal. All right, so I guess I'm doing the kill everybody ending. That two, homie? Did you, you punched me, ow. You hit fucking hard. Oh no, baby girl, I'm sorry. Thank you for the sex though, that was great. 
Oh, when you load game, it undoes that puzzle. Hmm. Okay, so now everybody's dead. Whenever he gets here, I'll just let him kill me? Not sure what to do with the gas yet. Yeah, I guess I'm just waiting. So I'll cut to the next thing. Damn it. Oh, wait. He needs to kill me. Okay, so that's two deaths. Okay, so news. Breaking news. This just in. <laughs> it seems that there were a string of killings tonight in a quiet neighborhood off the boulevard. At least one reported dead. But our eyes and ears on the ground report that more are likely. This is just hours after it was reported that a handful of inmates at the state asylum had escaped. It is confirmed that one of the escapees was none other than Vic Matherson, more infamously known as the Ding Dong Ditcher Ripper. <laughs> Don't touch that dial, as we will have more information coming in over the hour. Remember, folks, stay safe, and whatever you do, if your dong is ding tonight, don't you dare answer it. <laughs> okay, so that's the Everybody Dies ending. Uh, you're close to becoming yet another victim to the Ding Dong Ditcher Ripper. They don't know how you managed to survive. Your body, your broken body lies unconscious on a hospital bed. And luckily so. This way you can't, okay. Uh, you have to let all your friends, you've let all your friends down tonight. Rex, Hip, G, and Hillary were all slaughtered. Well, I did the slaughtering. Yeah, so this is the ending if, as if he had killed everybody. You are broken both physically and mentally. And the killer is still loose, dinging and donging to his heart's content. You will live to see another day. Perhaps you will overcome your pathetic nature and seek revenge. Or perhaps you will stumble through life as a broken vessel, haunted by either the fact you allowed your friends to be slaughtered or that the DDR got the better of you and bashed your brains in. Damn. This is the worst ending you could have achieved. You are neither a hero to be celebrated nor a villain to be feared. You are nothing. Congratulations, loser. Ending one of three. All right, so now we have one more ending to get. I think it's where I kill everybody and kill, the, and kill him. That's the only thing I think of now. So let's try that. Uh, yeah, let's do it. <laughs> These are my victims. I won't let him reap the glory of my work. What's that? Okay, so I got him three times. Uh, it's like this. Oh god. Did I get him? I laid a trap. For in case he... Wouldn't die. Ah, I got him. Okay, and everybody's dead. Perfect, perfect, perfect. You, I can see it. You are even more vile than he was. Thank you. How could no? Oh. No, no, no. Not again. Oh, 
Oh, Damn he's about to. Again. He blapped me. He gave me the blap. Oh. Uh, scalpel. Get up. A corpse. Probably the ding dong ditcher ripper. So I'm so alive. Police report. A very lengthy uh, police report talking about the multiple deaths tonight. It states that both killers were declared deceased on the scene, but I am very much alive. Kill. Sick. Uh, they declared you dead. They were they were wrong, dead wrong. You're not sure how you were you were still alive after receiving a bullet uh, to the brain, courtesy of Doctor Pleasant. Yet your eyes open and. There he was, within the morgue with his back turned. It appears Dr. Pleasant is more vigorous than he looks. He survived your attack and called for help. It took almost 10 police officers to subdue you. Now you are a permanent inmate at the state asylum. Dr. Pleasant is obsessed with you now that his previous patient is dead and you have seemed to take his place. You want to kill again. You must kill again. That's what the voice whispers into your ears every night at least. You'll be out soon, and your legend will surpass the Ding Dong Ditcher Rippers. Ending two of three. There we go, everybody. That is all endings for Ding Dong Dead. That was great. That was very charming. Uh, I, I loved the little uh, system of like, you have to have more moxie or more sexiness. Uh, I wish that would have come into play a little bit more, like uh, using strength to barricade doors or to move something, um, using your brains to like notice like a key item or something like that, or more bullets, or a sharper knife. Uh, but overall, I thought this was great. Uh, so yeah, if you want to check it out yourself, I'll link down in the description. Uh, if you have any recommendations for games to play, please let me know. I have a huge list of suggestions already that I'm going to be going through. And I have a special Halloween series planned. Uh, I think on like the 18th. Yeah, I think we're on the 18th. I'm going to start it. Um, yeah, so look forward to that. Part of it will be Patreon only. You'll see whenever it starts, what I mean. Yeah. Cool. Well, thanks for watching. Please leave a like, and I'll see you all next time.